Last March, as a celebration of the vinyl community and Too Many Records' contributions to it, I threw an event in Los Angeles called Too Many Records Fest. What started as an idea that was part channel meetup, part concert, part record store, turned into something I could have never imagined. Over 300 people over the course of the afternoon showed up to the Federal in North Hollywood to enjoy the events of the day. We had amazing live performances from Tiny Stills, Fort Vine, and the album Leaf. We had a live podcast and a raffle for some incredible prizes. But the crux of the event was the pop-up record shop, containing 1,000 curated records from my personal collection. We must have honestly sold 600 records that day, and many of the leftovers were sold to the online TMR community after the fact. The drinks were flowing, the records were selling, needless to say, it was an unforgettable afternoon. I am extremely excited to announce that the follow-up event, Too Many Records Fest 2, will be taking place on September 26, 2020 at Rockwood Music Hall in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, New York City. I'm announcing this months in advance because I want to give you the opportunity to make your travel plans and save up for the amazing records that you can get. Why should you come to the next one? Well, why don't you hear from some of the people who went to the first one? The first Too Many Records Festival was a great time. There was awesome records, live music. I met some great new people. There was good food and, of course, alcohol. So I can only imagine that the next one is going to be bigger and better. My favorite things about last year's TMR Fest, just seeing this community that he's created come together for the very first time. I think the second one's going to be even better because a lot of us have gotten a chance to interact in the Facebook group. Here are some of the highlights from last year's haul. I attended the TMR Fest last year. It's freaking unbelievable. It was so much fun last year. The best talent, the best lineup. It was such a blast. And I was able to own a part of Matt's record collection. Matt, what am I doing in this video? I didn't even go. I think what I found most surprising about the first TMR Fest was just the relaxed atmosphere of it all. After the initial feverish Matt scramble for records had subsided, I got a chance to sit down, listen to some good music, talk with my friends in the vinyl community, and I just really felt at home. I got this awesome Dead Kennedys reissue that's numbered, and I got to dig through Matt's collection. I'm really excited that you guys get the opportunity to do it in New York. It's just such an amazing experience. Buy some records, listen to some music, meet Matt because he's truly an amazing person and he puts together a great festival. Since the first TMR Fest, I've acquired quite a few records and I'm gonna be doing another massive culling of the collection between now and September. I plan to have hundreds of records from my collection for sale again and other surprises that will be revealed with time. These records are gonna be things that you don't see every day and the pricing's gonna be extremely generous so you can walk away with things from my personal collection. Common but amazing albums, all the way through super rare grails alike, I'll be right there at the store, helping you go through my bins, answering any questions, and giving recommendations. As for the live music aspect, there's gonna be three bands playing the event again. As of right now, the only band that I can announce is Fort Vine coming back for their second year in a row, serenading us with their beautiful, folky, soulful tunes, and actually, I'm sure they'll do some songs from their upcoming third record, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. And while this part isn't 100% set in stone yet, I wanna get you guys excited. I'm a big poster guy. As you guys saw on my room tour, screen printed posters all around my room. I'm working on having a limited edition foil screen print poster done by one of my favorite poster artists at the event. This commemorative poster is not just gonna be something lame that says TMR Fest. It's gonna be a beautiful commissioned piece of artwork that any vinyl or music fan would love to put up in their home. I'll put more details about that in the Too Many Records Facebook group, which if you aren't a part of yet, make sure you join, link in the description. There's also going to be a Facebook event for the specific day. I hope that you'll join. Say yes if you can make it, maybe if you wanna make it. I'll be posting updates for the event in there as well. Of course, I'll still be putting out loads of videos between now and TMR Fest, but this will give us all something to look forward to in the fall. I can't wait to meet you guys. I hope we can all hang out, crate dig, have some drinks, and listen to some amazing music. I promise you, it's not gonna disappoint. Leave a comment below with a record that you would freak out if you saw while digging through the bins at TMR Fest based on my collection that I've showed you guys for five years. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to Too Many Records. I have tons of cool stuff coming your way. So stick around, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.